up guys here to do a vlog wait up real quick oh my gosh yes candy everywhere jesus um mm, where do I go so I have a couple things to say um if your review is up you probably already noticed um be watching this video. Go check it out. Um, Conte Crows. I made a mistake. Doesn't come out tomorrow like I thought, which was very excited. I was very excited. Um, but yeah, it's not coming out tomorrow. Coming out next week. Um, which is still cool. Taproot's also coming out next week. If anybody knows Taproot, they're a really cool band. I heard uh, one of their albums. It's pretty. I mean, unoriginal. I heard a lot of other bands sound like them, but you know they have their little uniqueness to it and I, I like music even though I, I feel like I've heard it a million times before I still like the music hopefully this album sounds either the same or better nothing worse Muse I was researching uh, I was researching some stuff about Muse and they're coming out with a new album this autumn uh, they're going for an electric sound which I don't know what that is other than experimenting which I know Muse has, have done some electric sounds like some progressive additions to their music but I'm afraid that it's not gonna be like super massive black hole you know um or absolution I think that's what it's called I'm, I'm talking bullshit now <laughs> hold on let's go muse band just real quick um no, yeah, no, Absolution. So, yeah, Absolutions and Supermassive Black Holes. Or was it called Black Holes and Revelations? It was called Black Holes and Revelations. So, it was not Supermassive Black Holes, Black Holes and Revelations. Muse was one of those bands that were my top favorite bands, but they slowly started dropping. They're in my top ten, no worries. Um, but I'm very excited for that. And I also wanted to talk about my field review and the bands that I do accept to have that country tang to them. You know what I'm saying? Um, Puddle of Mud is one of those bands that have slowly drifted into the, that sound that I don't like with their latest album. Even though I still enjoy their latest album, they've lost something. Um, their first album, Come Clean, has a lot of themes that I generally do not like in bands like Shinedown or Nickelback. Parties, sex, um, but... There's something about their music that you know is Puddle of Mud. I can compare the other bands to Puddle of Mud. I can go like, yes, this sounds like Puddle of Mud. Um, the voice, the singing, the riffs, the catchiness, even though they speak of such mainstream bullshit themes, I can sing along and it still has passion. It has passion. I feel the passion in the music and sometimes... I don't care for um, for other bands' music when they talk about the same theme as Puddle of Mud would. Um, or maybe it's just a party song that that talks about like sex and drugs and partying and all that bullshit. And then the difference between that and Puddle of Mud is Puddle of Mud does it in a more serious, post-grungy, hardcore way possible and catchy. So I don't know what I'm trying to get at here. I'm just letting you guys know I don't hate uh, that type of music. I just don't enjoy listening to it. And the only one I do listen to is Puddle of Mud. I mean, to be honest with you, that's that's all I accept. I, there's a couple other bands. I still listen to um, All the Right Reasons by Nickelback. It's a really good album. And Shine Down, Leave a Whisper. That's never, ever going to leave my heart. Um, that's an amazing album. But same with Three Doors Down, the early stuff. Amazing. Three Doors Down used to be my top, my favorite band. Plummeted down to like 15th. I don't know, I just made up a random number. Um, but I'm going to let you guys go. Just want to let you know. Connie Crows, not this week. Sorry, my bad. Taproot, Cavo, Hailstorm. I haven't forgotten about any of them. I will listen to them all. Um, again, those bands are just for me. I've heard I've heard their, uh, their previous work and... I know I'm not gonna be surprised, but maybe they, maybe then I will be surprised. I don't know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.